I've had a lot of folks ask me if I was going to do a video on Alex Trebek, and truthfully, I thought that I might take a pass on this one. Alex was such a great guy, and you know, it's just hard to accept that he's gone. Here's how I first remember Alex. Just look at how young he was back then. By the way, that picture is taken from the Salt Lake City edition of TV Guide. Evenings on Channel 4 meant watching Will of Fortune and Jeopardy. And while Sajak and White were fun to watch, it was the rebooted, reimagined version of Jeopardy that I always found to be the most fun. Did you know that Lucille Ball was the person who suggested to Merv Griffin that Alex would make an awesome host for his new version of Jeopardy? Yep, she'd worked with him when he was a host on another game show called High Rollers and was so impressed with him that during a conversation with Merv, well, she forever changed all of our lives in a very good way. Because you know what? Well, I just can't imagine Jeopardy without this guy. From day one, he made the show his own. I don't remember who hosted the original version, and I struggle with the idea of anyone taking over Alex's place in the future. For me, the words Trebek and Jeopardy, well, they go hand in hand. It's a bit of a weird thing to bring up in this video, but I have such fond memories of the PC game that came out in the 90s that, well, I've just got to mention it. It was almost like I had a chance to interact with Alex Trebek myself. And a few years after that, my old buddy Ken Jennings would rock the Jeopardy world and by doing so make Jeopardy and Alex Trebek more popular than ever. Now, do I really know Ken? Well, no. But he does have a Utah connection in that he went to BYU. And we both served church missions in Spain. So here's the deal. I truly believe that Jeopardy is the greatest game show to ever grace television screens. And because of that, I also feel like Alex Trebek was, quite frankly, the greatest game show host ever. And that is why his announcement that he was battling stage 4 pancreatic cancer really hurt. It just sucked. My hopes were buoyed by his announcement a few months later that he'd finished his latest round of chemo and was in near remission. That felt right to me. Alex Trebek deserved a break. He was, after all, known for his kindness and decency to others. He was a longtime philanthropist and activist. He was active with multiple charities, including World Vision Canada and United Service organizations. For World Vision, Trebek traveled to many developing countries, taping reports on the group's efforts on behalf of children around the world. But of course, as we all know now, on November 8th, that all came to an end. It sounds to me like he was at peace with his eventual passing. A few months earlier, he had told an interviewer that he wasn't afraid of death, that he'd lived a good life, a full life, and that he knew he was nearing the end of that life. And if death were to happen, why should he be afraid of that? Well, Alex, no reason at all, my friend. No reason at all. It's just that millions of people are going to miss you. You see, your absence from this world, while not necessarily a scary thing, isn't something that any of us wanted. But in the end, you know what? You will always be with us in one way or another. Your impact will be felt for generations. Okay, folks, if you're a fan of Jeopardy, and in particular Alex Trebek, please leave your thoughts in the comments section below. And please hit the thumbs up icon if you like this video. It would mean a lot to me. And I would consider it an absolute honor if you subscribe to my humble little YouTube channel. I talk about music, movies, and television, mostly from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. You know the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, thank you so much for watching.